White House, Iwo Jima, the North and South Poles, the Moon. All of these iconic places have one thing in common, flags made by Annan flag makers. I believe they're setting up the flag now. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong planted an Annan flag on the moon. That was something that Annan was extremely proud of. Annan is the oldest and largest flag manufacturer in the United States. Vice President of Sales, Bob Caggiano, has been with Annan for over 40 years. Annan actually started in 1820 as ship's chandlers on the Hudson. And around 1847, the sons took over the business and they just wanted to go into flag making. After six generations, the company is still family owned. Annan makes all sorts of flags from their plants in Coshocton, Ohio, and South Boston, Virginia. But their best seller is Old Glory. They produce 10 million US flags a year. That's 500 million stars and 130 million stripes to be exact. We are selling an American icon. And regardless of what may be happening anytime, people still look at the US flag for what it symbolizes which it symbolizes freedom. And in flag makers grew up alongside America. In 1849, the young company was commissioned to make the flags for President Zachary Taylor's inauguration, and they've made them for every inauguration since. I've always said Annan is a footprint of America. When you go back to 1820, and when you think about it, there's not too many other companies that are around. And because we make a U.S. flag, whether it was the Civil War or World War I or World War II, and it has been there. Flags start out as bolts of American-made white fabric, which is then dyed, cut, sewn, and packaged. Some of them are printed on industrial screen printers. But employees say the flag is much more than a product. It is the single greatest symbol that recognizes our country. The fact that someone wants to display that in front of their business or in front of their home, or they want to present that, you know, to someone as a gift, you know, to me, that's pride and country. And I think that's pretty awesome. When you come in and you see all this red, white, and blue hanging every day, everybody takes pride in their work. It's a flag that represents your country. It's something you really enjoy doing, you know, because you're doing it for your country. And in flags have flown in times of celebration, like the grand opening of Yankee Stadium, as well as times of mourning, such as Abraham Lincoln's funeral. But for Bob, the most meaningful flags are those that honor veterans who have made the ultimate sacrifice. America has gone to war in other places so they could have the freedom and that we have here. And who did that? It was our veterans, it was our soldiers that are currently deployed. And they went out there and fought that war because they believed in something. They believed in the American flag and they believed in freedom. Every time you see a veteran, you should thank them. For the veterans and military spouses employed at Annan, flag making is a special craft. My husband's actually a former Marine. So this job means a lot to me because of the way he served the country. It means freedom. You know, it's uh, stuff that people have fought for for years and years. If it had nobody fought it, we wouldn't be flying that right now. But I'm close to flags, and I feel closer to the flag since I did serve. I still get goosebumps when I see the flag go up. No matter where it's found, the U.S. flag represents values Americans all share. It's a rallying point. To me, that, that flag just means the unity and the freedoms that us as all Americans have. And it's something we really all should be proud of.